I had requested for you all to kidnap for me the great maiden of the far mountain. Hope we're back. Okay. She was to be my <laughs> wife, and you failed to bring her to me. It was Tyler's fault. Explain yourselves. It was Tarvidi's fault. Blame him. I don't hear his excuses. I give him a withering stare then. <laughs> All right now. We got, what the fuck y'all messed up and on? Look, I just said, go out and sell some of this weed. And what the fuck happened? All my weed gone. Everyone's high. Where my money? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, big balls. I, I knew what happened to your fucking weed, bitch. <laughs> I guess you kind of want to know what happened to it, didn't it? I mean, mm. the fact that you called me a bitch is a little. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, man, fuck you. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh yeah, it's, in God, the, it's in the lock box, man. The weed or the money? Both of them, man. How the fuck did it end up in there? We fucking scapped on it. It's all down to him. Fucking well, scapped. you know, well, you know, I, it got in the uh, lockbox because of the uh, the most monstrous of monsters it was chasing us, trying to get his hands on your weed, and it was the only place I could think to put it to keep it. Now, old Ricardo. He said he had the key. Well, well, well the, the truth is, uh, Dark Overload, it wasn't completely my fault. Uh, I soon, uh, you see, I, I got caught. I got caught and I was thrown into the dark dungeon. And you, you know, it's between two worlds, so I can't just e escape. I had to get help, and that's what I called for for Jack you through an ID for for uh, Jordan over there. You know, I helped hey, him, man, Dark Overload. I used a whirlwind to get him out and everything. You know what they say, man. If you get caught, the popo gonna fuck you up. And the popo fuck you up, man. I, I don't really know how to go there, but fuck you, man. You tell him, Dark Snake. Hey, yo. Yo, boss, man. I, I ain't gonna call you a bitch, because uh, you're gonna give me another withered stare. But uh, I think Jordan's <laughs> lying to you, man. I I did no such thing. That's how he's out here. He's Why are you fucking lying to me? Don't, don't fucking lie to him. I slapped well, the shit out of him. That's how. That is how I got here, though. He did help me out. He, he's hey, he's yo, backing me yo, up. Yo, man. Yo, I, t I tell you what happened. Here it is. Boom. Your minion's lying to you. Nah, yo, cuz I won't lie to you, man. I won't lie to you, man. I mean, Jordan, 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 man. He 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 went to the other he went to the other dark overlord man. He was like, "Yo man, I got your fucking I got drugs, I got money. What you won't give me for that shit, man?" That's who that was. It's easy for Night Gamer to say. He was in the famed district walking around with your weed and money that he both stole in his safe and was trying to make it with all the women there. Oh man, what why you got to be a grass for, man? But shit, shit, oh, he did. You got to be a... grass. <laughs> yeah, man, you grass. You a fucking snitch. You realize that's what the weed is called, not the person who is trying to oh, sell it. Oh, wait! I think I might have it. But he admitted it. I have the dream glass. I have the dream grass right here, Dark <laughs> Overlord. Man, you got the weed. Why the fuck you didn't tell me? I I must have forgotten. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you scared me, no. Man, I, look. I, if you're I gonna don't. live on these streets, you can't be scared. I don't need that weak shit in my face. Oh no! I think Ricardo just lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In our two fastest games ever. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, minions, I asked you to take my daughter, my precious daughter, to school. Such a simple task. How did you fail? Uh, I think that's pretty easy. Uh, Ricardo went and uh, pushed her into the marsh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. What are you blaming me for? <laughs> Why are you stuck? <laughs> it wasn't my fault, I swear. It was because of the wind. Uh, it blew, and I must have bumped into her. Yeah, with his fist. 
No, so, so you, that's not true. Don't so listen to him. So you actually did knock her into the marsh. But it wasn't my fault, see? Well, the wind blew. There. And I knocked into Aegis Gamer, and he knocked into her. Uh, <laughs> is this true, <laughs> English Gamer? Um, no. Oh, Jacqueline again. <laughs> yeah, Jacqueline, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, Jacqueline, you <laughs> fucking sexist. I can't believe I've hired you again. No, I was so good last time. You had to fill your women <laughs> quota. But anyway, um, I didn't actually knock into your darling princess. Uh, actually... Um, so I'm not truth, you blob. Tarviti ta 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 over there, he, he was meant to um, take my place. Um, but he, he came up with some bullshit excuse saying about a disappointment or something. Is this true? Hey, look, Puddin. All right. Dang it. He wanted to be Harley I Quinn. I was going to go make up that point, man, but I'm like, man, this is slipping accents pretty quick. I can't do Brooklyn too good. <laughs> Wait, let is me get to the proper... meant to be? Let me get to the proper Brooklyn. Withering stare. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Uh, fair, uh, right? Right? But look, man. I saw these shoes, and I was like, I gotta wear them shoes. I was gonna bring them to your girl, and then, I don't know, she died... I think Jordan killed her. So uh, while they were over there, what? While they were over there screwing around, I actually saved her from the marsh. I just fished her out, and uh, we continued on our great journey. You can uh, go on to ask English Gamer where she went from there. Uh, why? Why are you still fucking lying? I uh, have the I'm, card right here to prove it. I know exactly what you're doing. You fucking liar. You wasn't fishing. You was in the back room. Banging the scarecrow, cause you're fucking strange. I uh, I did that after I saved your daughter. I've got my Can priorities in check. Can somebody tell me where my daughter is now? Uh, well, I think that I saw her. Are you drowning? With the Black Knight. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I, I um I, I right, remember. I remember that actually, um, because oh, my um, you the point and no, didn't save her. No, no, Scott, Scott, hear me out. Okay, don't don't get no wisdom scared just yet. Okay, um, you see, uh, the he, the Black Knight tried rescuing her, but um, Ricardo he he needed to uh, go fuck her. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So did you just- I'll tell you! Make up lies! That's why I get with you stare. Because you're lying! Because you lying. said skullfuck? Is that a good enough reason? I mean, it feels like you're good enough- Sorry. Because you said skullfuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good enough reason. That's good enough reason, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I suggested maybe after we lost her again, we should use the crystal ball to try and find her. Yeah, but then that- Caused her to get possessed, and now she's a possessed girl. Yeah, I can say uh, she's possessed, but I just like her. possessed, withering stare, and uh, by the bony demon. Yeah, I probably deserve that. I uh, I know I know, you know, that she may have been possessed, but there was there was a nice little man in a mine, and he said, he said, um, you have to take her somewhere special to get her back to normal again. And of course, these lads don't know anyway it's somewhere special because they're all fucking assholes. Hey man, I know somewhere special. It's the barren desert. That's where I met the, the red baron. He like crashed his plane. I was like, bruh, check it. Take this plane, me and you, we gonna take the girl. We gonna bring her back to the dog man. And he's gonna be like, yo, that's a good deal. He says that, but it wasn't a red baron. It was a red dragon. Him and a dragon stole your daughter. You took Man, my daughter I... to a dragon? Nah, we rode the Wait, dragon. Oh, he's gonna get a good. <laughs> and look, technically, we rode the dragon. It was more of a serpent. And then we rode up on Ricardo. And <laughs> what? 
he was like, hey, let me take that girl from you. And I'm like, okay. I also just relearned we're supposed to draw more cards. It's not true, Overlord. In fact, I remember specifically taking her with me to the dimensional portal, and I met up with Jordan. And that's where he gave me. You don't like to blame me a lot. Book. He gave me the Howling Book. And you know what the Howling Book does? It's his fault. No. What does the Howling Book do? Well, it's evil. And yeah, we're evil. 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 That's but literally in his title. It's even more evil, Overlord. He's claiming it something's more evil daughter. than our Dark Overlord. Even more evil than me? Yes, and it harms it harms your daughter though. With a ring stab. Uh, I, I, I think he just died. Jordan's the one who had the book though. Well, you heard him. He uh, he caused the death of your daughter. He's got another two on his. Phone. I wasn't the one with the book though. You uh, sure seem to accept it. Sir, I've given you a chance, and you failed me. Withering stare. And now he's dead. Like, oh. 